Hey, Jack. Hey, Marcel. Have you seen the student launch that? beginning to look a lot like Halloween. It is Halloween. Jeune camarade, be a pal and do my segment on consumer spending while I rush away because I totally forgot about my costume for the party. Hello, consumer spending for Halloween. Ask Jack. He knows. Bye-bye. I what? But Marcel. Okay, consumer spending. Halloween, that spooky and magical holiday, is also a consumer and retailer favorite, especially in the U.S. But between the U.S. government shutdown in early October 2013, the chaotic implementation of new health care laws, and a sluggish economy and lackluster job market, consumers have a lot on their minds this Halloween. According to a Halloween spending survey by Retail Trade Association National Retail Federation, or NRF, one-fourth of the consumers polled said that the state of the economy would impact their Halloween spending plans. Nearly 9 in 10, 86.1%, plan to spend less overall, up from 83.5% of respondents in 2012. A third say they'll be buying less candy this year, and 18.1% of those polled said they'll be making a costume instead of buying one. All the same, though, folks are still in a holiday spirit and are gearing up to be ready for the revels accompanying the spookiest night of the year. Did someone say revels? I doubt those. Hey, is your costume ready? Oh, I knew I forgot something. Back later. Okay. According to NRF, nearly 158 million consumers will participate in Halloween activities this year, with the average spend expected to be about $75.03 per celebrant on decor, costumes, candy, and other treats down from $79.82 last year. 43.6% of people still plan to dress up, regardless of whether the costume is store-bought or homemade. The poll notes that in the aggregate, consumers opting for disguises from store shelves will be treating retailers to a very happy Halloween. Specifically, the NRF poll claims that consumers will spend 1.22 billion U.S. dollars on adult costumes and some 1.04 billion U.S. dollars on costumes for children. And it's going to be hard to get many to give up a modest spend on candy to treat batches of trick-or-treaters to a few treats. The National Retail Federation anticipates that 113 million people in the U.S. will be handing out candy to pint-sized partygoers and visitors this year, with the average spend per person expected to be about $23. Overall, while many are trimming their budgets this year, the NRF says that average spending on Halloween has increased 54.7% since 2005, and claims that total Halloween spending is estimated to reach $6.9 billion U.S. dollars in 2013. It should be noted in passing that this estimate provided by the NRF is based on extrapolated figures. A link for access to the NRF 2013 Halloween Consumer Spending Survey is included in the info box for further browsing. But just for fun, here are the top picks for costumes this year. For adults, a witch, a vampire, or licensed DC Comics comic book and film franchise character, Batman. For children, a princess, an animal, or a Batman. And for pet owners who like to dress up their pets, a pumpkin, a hot dog, or the devil. Costumes, costumes. Oh, that reminds me. Has anybody seen Marcel? The studio party's starting in the lounge in ten minutes, no? And there was another party going... Oh, wait, I know. He's probably kissing the mirror in the dressing room. Ten minutes! Ta-da! What's that? It's my costume. That's it? What are you going as? A piece of paper? Weren't you going as Louis the Fourteenth? Well, it looked different when I saw it on Pinterest. I was going to make the whole costume to go as Louis the Fourteenth, but then, you know, I got bored. I can't sew either, so that was an easy decision. You can't go to a party like that. Of course I can. I'm wearing this marvelous hat. You've got a boat on your head. Eh bien, I'll go as the Titanic. Oh, I can go as Nozak if we can find some small animals, very small animals, the size of a paperclip. Do we have any? Yeah, maybe a bit of the Titanic. I put an ice cube there on the top to make it more believable. You are the Titanic. Didn't you bring anything else? Hmm, well, let's see. Maybe I think of some other options. That on the left. That on the right. Left, 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 right, left. You see, I'm charming from all angles. I mean an actual costume. Eh, uh, bon. Alors, I can go as a barbarian raider. Ah, eh bien, remember that? Arr. I guess you could go as a pirate. A bloodthirsty one, a real swashbuckler. I'm very elegant and fast on my feet. Zoom, zoom, on go. So I can take over a whole ship without my head falling off. 
Hey, Hat, what are you doing there? Hey, Hat, where are you going? Is it still there? This is ridiculous. Hey, it's not moving around. You probably need some kind of sword. I've got a pencil. I don't know. It's not very convincing. Have you got anything else? I can be invisible. Come on, Marcel. You can't be invisible. Where'd he go? Marcel? I'm right here. Where? I'm invisible. Marcel? Someone just tapped me on the shoulder. What? That was me. I told you. I must be tired. And here I am again. Where? Don't peek. Okay, now. Ta-da! Ah, uh, wow, that's just... That's just scary, Marcel. Um, yeah. <laughs> you want to see scary, huh? I'll show you scary. How about I go... As you, huh? That's not good. Wait a second, wait a second. If you're me, who am I? Not my problem. I liked you better in the hat. The party is in there. Well, this is the address on the invite, so yeah, the party's in there. I don't think so. What are you worried about? It's just a big, spooky, creepy house in the middle of nowhere. Actually, you might have a point there. Let's go back to the studio party. Hey, guys. Hey, nice to see you. Hey, guys. Hey, great party, huh? I love how the crew decorated the lounge. It looks great. Oh, Marcel? He's just running a little late. Oh, is he? Ah, uh, it's Grimsy. Hey, Grimsy, camarade. Come and enjoy some punch. Oh? Where did everybody go? Uh, don't be afraid, it's really very nice. Hello? 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 Well, that's okay, Grimsy. Have some champagne. Chin chin. Wait a moment, I'll show you my costume. That would entertain you. Eh, hey, voila. What's that? I didn't have time to find a costume. Of course no. I'm a piece of uh, origami. Jack? Oh, he's running late. He'll be here by midnight. Or will he? Huh? Just wait until I get a hold of him. Jack! Jack! Stop sticking pins in that doll! What a bizarre evening. Funny in the wee hours I can get some rest. Ah uh, bien, night's out. I think the tree is staring at me. Well, you've got a board on your head. It's a sculpture. Alright, you've got a sculpture on your head. Okay, so here's how we do this. Everyone without a sculpture on their head goes first. Hello, after you. I think you should go first. You're scarier. You wear boats on your head. Sculpture. Sculpture, boats. Point is, you're a loony. You might have a point. So are you going to go first? Look, a friend, I may be loony, but I'm not completely crazy. I dare you to ring the bell. I'll send him a postcard. That's a good plan. I agree. How did we end up back here anyway? I think it's just a bad dream. Oh no, Jack. What? The door's creaking open. Oh no. There's a creepy skeleton coming down the stairs. Oh no. Oh, it's Grimsy. Hey, Grimsy. Trick or treat. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh la la. I must have just nodded off in between champagne and chocolates from the buffet to have a little catnap. What a marvelous nightmare. But no matter when candy for me, huh? It's giving me weird dreams. Okay, maybe just one. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Sweets full of sweet, huh? Okay, back to the party. Then what happened? I woke up. You're right. That is a weird dream. Surreal. Bizarre. I know. Imagine you ever showing up to work early. I should have realized right then, I know. Well, stranger things. Wait, stranger things. Stranger things. Ah, not as strange as you, Grimsy, camarade. Hey, Grimsy. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Thank you. More champagne. A special spooky thanks to all our visitors and subscribers. Thanks for dropping by. To get mixed up in a bit of monkey business. Happy Halloween. Hey, Jack. You know that, uh, that spooky house? Yeah, that was creepy. Don't look now, but I think it's behind us. Are we still in your weird dream? I sure hope so. You hope so? Oh, uh, what? Because if it's not a dream, then we're really here. Ugh. Did you hear something? Uh, no. The good news is it's the same house. That's the good news? What's the bad news? That skeleton peeking through the window. Which window? Any window, who cares? The important fact is that's not Grimsy. Who is it? 
Stay here and find out if you like. I have an appointment across town with uh, not death. Okay, here's the plan. You stand there and wave your arms to make a distraction. And whatever the creepy spooky thing is, I'll hit it with a branch. Just need to find a branch. Ah, bien, Jack. Oh, that's very good. Here's my plan. Run! <laughs> that works too. Sorry guys, gotta run. We'll be back in the next episode. Hopefully. Oh, gotta go. Don't say anything. I'm pretending to be a tree. Mm -hmm. A walking tree. Bye bye. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Marcel! Wake up! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Faster! Faster! Oh! Did somebody say something? Am I still dreaming? Somebody pinch me. Whoa! Next time I want to run down here.